Hello everyone, Josh here with Texas Games, bringing y'all another Awakened Cast Air video, and Happy New Year's. We are now into the new year, it's 2022, with the new year brings new possibilities. And with that being said, I think the possibility of Desmond getting buffed should be a top priority um, in terms of character rebalancing, because a lot of people have pulled Desmond, and they can't do anything with him. He's by far probably overall the worst unit in the game. We're going to explain why, and hopefully our boy can receive a buff. Now, I may not personally own him on this account, but I would still would love to see all the Desmond users out there be able to actually utilize him because he's actually really, really cool. He's got a cool design, and he also has a very unique skill set, which I feel like they can expand upon and make really, really cool and unique to him. And he's got really good stats as well. S health, A defense, A speed. Very, very solid He's going to be a nice tank. He has a self-sustained heal and a skill one, which I'm fine with. All the other skills, though, need a little bit of a reworking. So let's talk about his trait. His trait is garbage. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. Uh, if the enemy removes plague, there is a 30% chance to apply stun for one turn. Screw that. How about instead you give him kind of like the Santis treatment where anytime he hits an enemy with plague, he has like a 50% to 100% chance to apply an additional plague that would be great okay that would make him a very very awesome unit because we're going to also rework what plague does so as of right now plague deals damage based on health at the start of the turn the current health that is garbage poison is three percent of max hp which is completely superior to the current health at the start of the turn what that means is he's going to do less and less damage the longer the fight goes on but his kit is built for a long-term fight, so it doesn't make any sense. If he's going to fight a long, you know, possibly 50 rounds, he needs to be able to build up damage, not decrease it. That makes no sense. So his kit's working against itself for some weird reason, and I don't know why. So skill 2. Applies plague to all enemies and then deals 100% damage to each damage scales with the number of stacks of plague on each target i could live with that if it wasn't for the fact that it's hard to stack a lot of plagues before it just becomes worthless and the fact that he has a b attack so he's not really built for dps anyways um if that was a stat that scaled to like hp or defense then he could probably do some work on that aoe but it's scaled to his plagues and right now it's hard for him to get a lot of plagues to go off now, this is how you're going to do it mostly right now, the way his kit currently is. And that's with his ultimate. Enters a state of plague, uh, emissary or emissary, however you want to say it, until cancelled. Applies plague to the enemy at the start of their turn. With a 70% chance to spread the plague to another random enemy. This character loses health at the start of their turn. So, he's going to keep losing HP. That's why he has a self-sustain on a skill 1, which is fine. I like his skill 1. You can leave it that way. That's great. But as I said, for the trait, give him the Santa's treatment. Allow him to stack more plagues if he hits an enemy with plagues. Get rid of that stun. It's garbage. Uh, skill 2, I guess you could leave it that way. Whatever. It's not as big of a priority for me. The ultimate is really uh, okay as well. Really, what I'm wanting to have happen is the way plagues are are doing damage. Right now, as we've stated, it's current health at the start of the turn. Even if it's like poison and it's 3%, it's still based on current health at the start of the turn. So if you keep hitting on the enemy and their HP gets lower and lower, that plague is going to be less and less effective. And above all else, this guy just is so slow in terms of building up amount, you know, ample amount of plagues, whereas Santis and Gangello and Valak can go in there and just stack poisons left and right like nothing. And since this guy does not have any plagues in his skill one, and he doesn't have the trait like Santis, like I like I've already kind of mentioned, you can't utilize him with a curse set and try to apply more plagues that way either. You're literally just sitting there waiting for every turn to go by for the enemy to just put another plague. And then you got to wait and wait and wait. And then it just gets lower and lower damage because the current HP gets lower and lower. So his entire kit is kind of backwards. Now, this is my big suggestion 
for Plague to make this guy amazing. Not overpowered, not broken, but very, very powerful, especially considering he is a legendary and he's meant to be unique. So the way I think Plague should work, and if the developers watch this video, the community reps or moderators or somebody, get this out there to the developers. Somehow get this video to the developers. I have a great idea. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn here. Maybe some of you may not like my idea, but my idea here, I was thinking about this for a while, is for Plague to do 1% of max HP per stack of Plague you have on the enemy. Since he's more slow in terms of building up Plagues, you can't spam them like Poison. There's no Poison leader out there in the game, like a Gangello. And there's no way for other units to stack up the plagues for you as well, like the poison team. I feel like this is a good balance for his kit and to keep it unique to him. I don't want to see another plague unit in the game. I want it to be unique to Desmond because I think it fits his character style perfectly. I mean, look at his aesthetics. It's perfect. You know, it just makes you think of the purge. It makes you think like that. Like, it's great. I love it. So... What I want to see there is basically every time you get an additional stack of plague, it's an additional 1% and don't let it be able to be removed outside of a cleanse. It can be cleansed just to keep it balanced in like maybe PVP or some other modes, but outside of being able to cleanse it, it should stay there permanently and he's just going to keep receiving damage as long as his ult's activated like now, and then he can just heal with the skill one. Uh... If he attacks an enemy and if he if they fix his trait to be like santis then he can apply another plague so this will make him very self-efficient but also work very well as a dot as a as a dot dps damage over time because right now his kid just does not work he just doesn't and that's why he's considered by many in the community one of the worst if not the worst units in the game especially considering he's a legendary people were pulling him excited because he looks really cool his kit looks interesting, but it just doesn't work. It's not effective. So I feel like this is a good balance for him. Give him the Santa's treatment on the trait. That way he can actually stack some plagues by himself. Because he's going to be doing this solo. And then allow the actual plagues to be based on max HP. And they go up by 1% for every tick you have. I'm sorry, for every stack you have. So let's say you get 10 stacks of... Um, plague on a, on an enemy now every turn that goes by that enemy is going to be taking 10 percent max hp that's fine that's reasonable it doesn't make him broken by any means he's still not going to be quite as good as the full poison team but now he's going to be at least decent at least usable and in long fights where you think you're actually going to be going 50 rounds he's going to be great He's going to be good for those harder towers. He's going to be great for a harder story, perhaps. He's just going to be good overall, not broken, as I've said. And since he's going to be one of a kind, the only one doing this, it's not like you can abuse it with other units. So I feel like this would be a great change for him. I don't know. I just thought I'd give some love to Desmond because I really like his, I like his, um, his design. I like Plague. I want it to be unique. And I feel like that's kind of unique to his character. It'd be really fun to play with. And a lot of people who own Desmond would not be so sad about owning Desmond. And when you pull him, you won't feel like, oh my god, I just pulled garbage. Because nobody wants to pull a legendary, get excited, and then it's Desmond. And you're like, ah, that's not a feeling you want when you pull a legendary. They have low percentage drop rates. You don't want to pull garbage with low percentage drop rates. You know what I mean? So make it worthwhile. So those are just some of my changes that I've considered. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if you like the change that I'm making here. Or if you have some of your own ideas that might be unique, or maybe you want to take a mixture of mine and yours, whatever. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be glad to read them. Um, hopefully, Desmond gets a buff. Let's start a hashtag buff Desmond. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see what happens with Desmond. That's just my idea. I just wanted to get that out there. It's just kind of a different video that we don't usually do around here, but I thought it'd be fun. So anyways, don't forget to like the video if you did. Um, take notifications, subscribe. Join us in the Discord in the description below. Follow me on Twitter at X's Plays, and I will catch you all in the next one. And again, have a happy new year. Until next time, peace.